Uh, what do you guys do as you awake that morning? It is December 21st, by the way. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Well, if it's December 21st, I'm making breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Before we finish this up, though, we do have the important question. Ooh. What are your favorite GM snacks? Yeah, Brennan. Let me be clear. Go this on, was you put. Hobbit. This was put into this fucking questionnaire to come for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna explain something. Mm -hmm. If you're at home and you're afraid to tell your gaming group that you're a snacker, I've got your back, okay? Because it's okay to fucking snack, all right? When you're out there, let some of us sweat from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep. Some of our bodies are betraying us constantly. Would I have chosen this paper white, fur covered, constantly sweating body? No, I wouldn't have. Does it require constant almonds? Yes. <laughs> almonds all the time, okay? And I'm not gonna apologize because these two fucking elevated beings, these two hovering, uh, uh, what, what's the, what, what are the pre, the pre skexy pre mystic light beings from the dark crystal? Oh God. You two, some of us are pod people, okay? I'm a little podling and I need to snack. If I could have another mouth in my back, <laughs> So that I could, the biggest obstacle in my GMing, all right, is that the same place I talk from is where the food needs to go. <laughs> yeah, a mouth in my back. <laughs> so that I can have a friend shoveling salami into an open furnace in my torso while I narrate. And I'm not sorry. I like to snack. The answer to your question, almonds. <laughs> no one sucks more at eating spicy food on this planet okay. than I do. It's a true story. I was, I'm so bad at spicy food. When I was growing up, I walked into the kitchen. My pop was making chili. And I walked in, and he takes a spoonful and hands it to me. And I, and I go, all right, you know, I can't handle spicy food, but I'll, I'll take a bite. I take a bite and go, whew. That's, ooh, that's, that's perfect. That's just about as much spice as I can handle. And he looked at me and went, Brent, that's beans. <laughs> Hold everyone on a at home, everyone at home, believe in yourself. Um, Brennan, I have some really bad news. What's that? Um, someone donated a thousand dollars. Now I had this one, and I think you'll all notice that I didn't cry or throw up. Oh, <laughs> the lazy just said, how much to make him eat beans? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll eat straight up beans for three dollars. So you <laughs> no, for three dollars. No, we got to raise the money. We got to raise, raise money. One donate three dollars and I'll eat. I'll eat a bean. I'll eat a bean a for three bucks. Bean. You get, I it's three dollars per bean. You want me to eat? <laughs> Is this person? Do you ever have those mint Milano's? Is that for me? Because I went back into a car crash to get my Mint Milano's? Gerard, did oh you get gosh. Mint Milano's from somewhere? No, that must be for you. Pepperidge Farm owes me a huge shipment of Mint Milano's that one of their branded people- Owes you? Yeah. <laughs> Pepperidge, hey, Pepperidge. Pepperidge. Mom, you're on the list. Whoa, tell me Pepperidge. everything. What happened? I got in a car accident, and what ended up happening was... <laughs> no way. This is not how this story starts. I, I think I've told this story before, but like I got in a bad car accident with a bunch of friends. The um, paramedics informed us that the tow truck was going to take it, but because of insurance reasons, we couldn't get our stuff out of the car because it needed to be examined beforehand. And we're like, oh, well, all of our merchandise for Toronto, we got to go. We have selling all these comic books there. And... So, and I realized that there is a, a, a packet, a package, mostly eaten, but with still a few in there of mint Milano's. And I'm like, oh shit, I have no idea when the next time we're gonna eat is gonna be able to be. So I went back into the car wreck to get the mint Milano's because if I didn't, they were gonna be in this car and it was gonna go to an impound that we wouldn't be able to get access to later. And 
that was so amusing to my companions, Molly Ostertag, shout out to Molly Ostertag. That was so amusing that they were like, I can't believe you crawled back in the car wreck to get those cookies. And I was like, they don't have food in the ambulance. Like, uh, and uh, she tweeted about it, Pepperidge Farm, tweeted at me and was like, Mr. Mulligan, like, so sorry to hear about your car accident. And I was like, I'm a huge fan of the Milano brand as well as your mint Milanos, which I really love as a varietal of the central cookie. And they, and they were like, where, where, and they were like, where do you live? And I was like, here's my address. Never heard from him again, baby. This story goes on and on and on. Cause this is, this is weirdly, okay, I yeah, mostly please. tell this story cause it's how I got my favorite t-shirt, but that we're not gonna go down <laughs> is it Tony Pepperoni? Tony What's Pepperoni, exactly. We had to rent a car. We got dropped off by the tow truck at a pizza place, Tony Pepperoni. And shout out to Tony. Shout That's out to Tony Pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, Tony Pepperoni, Henrietta, New York. Shout out. Thanks for the pizza, Tony. Um, uh, I, have a, I have one of their staff shirts that inexplicably is the words Tony Pepperoni in a <laughs> Batman symbol. No. <laughs> There's no business relationship to DC at all. It's just literally, this is it's just a pizza place that likes Batman. Uh, and that's it. literally it. But the but we got there and now I- Now they're getting the cease and desist. Yeah, yeah now they're getting the cease and desist. Wait, you cut it, no, I made it up. Uh, don't, please, Tony, I'm sorry. Um, but the truly, the, the, the thing was like, I got there and, and I was the only one old enough to rent a car. We were younger, we were in our 20s. And I got, I ordered four pies there were four of us, there were five of us. I already got four full-size pies and I'm renting the car across the street and I'm like, they've eaten all the pizza. They've eaten oh. all of it. Oh, they didn't leave me any. And I got back and no one had touched a slice. And I was like, guys, the pizza, aren't you guys hungry? And my friend Molly was like, we just got in a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> we're not hungry, man. <laughs> and I was like, you and I process shock differently. Uh, manja. And I fucking <laughs> put one and a half to bed in the booth. Incredible. One and a half full wow. pies. Oh my goodness. The machine needs fuel. I respect that. That's probably healthier. Yeah. I just go much home. healthier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. just we'll we'll learn from a distance and yeah. not actually uh, <laughs> we'll do not. anything you, to work you, in that hey, one glorious direction. moment it's like you're doing it. I'm yeah. proud of it. It's you. elves, it's elves and hobbits. Yeah, you guys have your lembus bread and I'm over here with eleven Z's and second breakfast and it's all <laughs> different struggles. We all <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're goddamn right I got my mint mama. <laughs> Three, here we go. two, one. How are you living, boys? How are we living? Mine's really good. Now, this one is really hurting my feelings. <laughs> and it's making me sad and mad. We're getting a, we're getting a lot of $3 donations for beans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, gang. Someone's going to have to run and get beans. <laughs> a $9 donation. Three, Three beans, beans, please. please. We're getting a lot of micro donations for beans. Small, they're just, they're breaking Tiltify right now. We're on getting it, dozens of bean donations. Yeah. Is it a can? Is on a MSNBC tomorrow, they're gonna be like a huge grassroots movement swept <laughs> through. Heinz is like, the finally! Me yeah, the median donation was $3 to get some guy to eat a single bean. <laughs> Art of Villainy donated 50 bucks and said, we, we want you to have beans. Also, you were awesome, followed by another donation that said, get that man beans, 10 beans. <laughs> get that man 10 beans. I think you just gotta eat a can, my guy. I don't think there's any way around it. You need a, you need a good spoon too, like a golden spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much uh, that hot sauce to the beans? Is that what you just asked? Well, the last, the, listen, someone already made the market on this with a thousand dollar donation. Uh, time to bean it up, sir. Snacking. My, my feature is a small bowl of snacks. <laughs> if you want to talk to the people at Blue Diamond, if you're interested, oh. if you're interested. Is this my chance? Or do it? you have an in? Do you have an in with Big Almond? I was told that, uh, now I don't have a spokesperson deal with them, but I am responsible for 12% of their national sales. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so, so if you want me to talk to them, all I have to do is threaten to switch to a, hey! I have to keep these on hand just in case Brendan comes over so he doesn't die. Of course. We appreciate it.
Yeah. All I can think about is all of the pizza at the wrap party. <laughs> That's literally all I can think about. In the Gosh. most cat. God, I haven't had ramen in a minute. I've said ramen in the episode, and it was immediately a mistake because I thought about how good it is to eat ramen. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. It's, it's an incredible food. Uh, I think we got a whale out there. I think we got a rich uncle money bag. <laughs> I think we got a whale out there. I think we got an angel investor who's, okay. who's, who's got a sick mind. Okay. And I think uh, if I'm going to say 10% of what we've raised so far. So we're looking for, we're looking, we're, let's round up to 2.5K. If you do 2.5K, we'll do an honest to God splash of the scorpion in this thing of pinto beans. And I got to finish the whole bowl. I got to do the whole can with the scorpion in there. With the scorpion in it. Scorpion two hot point, sauce. If I see 2.5K, so let's get this ready to go. And if I see 2.5K, it's it, the scorpion is coming for a ride in the can of pinto beans. Oh, my God. All right. The scorpion is the second hot, the second hottest hot sauce we've got. So yeah. it's real rough. Shout out to Gina Darling for the raid. Thank you, Gina. We love you. I think Bill Gates is watching. <laughs> And I think he's I think he's been putting his little finger on his lips and now he's like you've piqued my interest. This is the moment. Uh, this is the moment. You're saying a dollop of a scorpion. dollop of scorpion. Whatever that means to you, Frazier. If if we get 2.5k, but the people want beans. So this I'm going to say if we get to 7:30 and there's no 2.5k, oh, Gerard, well, that was who, is who is me? Who is me? This is not funny. I've never wanted to be right less in my life. India. Chicken tikka masala, garlic. Italian. Chicken parm. Order the same meal every time. I order the best meal every time. Can uh, I just say, yes. Tom Colicchio uh -oh. coming down on Harold and saying this meal is incomplete went out of almost all of the dishes. It's the one where I was like, oh, that would be gone. I would be sending a clean bowl back to the yeah. kitchen. What like, do you think was incomplete about it again? It was like... Because it just looks like a fucking meal. Because it's awesome meatballs and gnocchi in a red sauce. It's like, oh, guaranteed delicious food for humans to eat. Not a fucking expression of your inner goddamn whatever. If you want to do art, fucking... I'm hungry. My flower creme anglaise. That sounds great. I don't know what a cauliflower creme anglaise would taste like, but... Ooh, Brennan, why not? Why not? Too much space on his plate. There Why is that plate? One. Why is that plate so big? Get a smaller plate. You, you're never gonna find what you're looking for outside of Dave on this show, Brennan. Dave is yeah, the only one who could. I'm in general. Yeah, Dave. Dave would cook your style. Dave made a dish that uh, Jordan Notorcy loves, which was enchiladas on top of mashed potatoes. <laughs> That is the best meal I've ever heard about. And if fine dining was that, I would eat at fine dining restaurants. But fine dining restaurants are not that. It's Marcel over here with his foam and Steven yeah. with his big ass plates, making too small an amount of food for too much money. I'm yeah. getting the mashed potatoes and enchiladas. Thank you very much, <laughs> David. I appreciate it. Love it. It was spilling off the plate. Yeah. The mashed potatoes had like corn and black beans in it. And there was sauce everywhere. I think about it almost every day. Brennan, if you had to take one of those courses at the end, which would you have taken? Scallops, lobster, duck, or Kobe beef? And you have to uh, cook. Kobe beef. Okay, what meal would you make out of it? Uh, bacon cheeseburger with grilled onions, waffle fries, chocolate milkshake. How heavy is it? So heavy. Can't lift it. Two people. Okay, it's wow. two people heavy, or two people need to lift it? It is as heavy as two people, and two very strong people need to get in there to lift it. Okay, perfect. We're gonna run a poll on Instagram to see if people would rather have your bacon uh, cheeseburger with onions that weighs two people um, and Jordan's uh, giant girlfriend and my big giant husband would need to lift. Uh, <laughs> now, Brennan, I asked you earlier what you would spend 100 extra dollars on on a grocery trip and you said butter because you were trying to win. Um, do you change that answer or do you stand by butter? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think you stand by butter. Yeah, I do stand by butter. <laughs> I said I, I what I said. Get that damn carry gold. <laughs> I'm yeah. curious with the $100, are we doing butter quantity or butter quality? Are we doing like a plugra, like a fancy French butter that's very expensive or just a lot of butter? When it comes to food, the rule is quantity over quality. So right. 
So what I'm going to do, if, I, if it's Chef Brennan, if it's Chef Brennan's day, if I have the $100 in the grocery store, you do. I'm saying, where's the bargain butter? And they're like, well, the butter is over in this aisle. And then I go, no, 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 no. Where's the, in the back, where's the jugs? Where's the barrels of butter that you scoop into the retail butter packets? Let yeah. me pull a truck around out back. We'll, yeah. roll the, we'll roll the bulk butter barrels outside the street and yeah. I'll put some big old bills in your hand for these bulk butter barrels. And then, yeah. yeah. The pain only hurts if you feel like you don't deserve it. <laughs> I'm just how, trying to help oh, us go for the world. How's, the, right? how's that first bite? <laughs> I'm in hell and I deserve it. I'm trying. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm having a bad time over here and I'm being nope, a nope. real champ about now, it. Now like, I feel like uh, I have a lot more respect for you. Uh, thank you. Kudos to that. Brennan, how's the beans coming along, buddy? Are we almost there? Dude, I don't know how many days I've been here for. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, um, I, I'm in another world. I'm like, I, I think I saw, you know, it's like. It's getting saucy. I don't like that. In my head, it's just, Maybe it's just the voice of Vincent Price reading The Second obscure, Coming by W.B. Yates. <laughs> and the, and the guy from Twin Peaks sand, slowly dancing towards me. That's yeah. all that's happening. Yeah. I'm in a fucking a acid blank. flashback. Yeah, 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 yeah. From this thing of means. Trainer cat lady. Brennan looks straight up wet. There's the bean guy. There's that fucking bean freak that loves charity. And we had been there the previous year um, and gone to a place called Tasty Burger, which had an eating competition uh, that was sort of a ch an eating challenge. And it was, hey, if you, this meal costs $75. If you finish it in 40 minutes, uh, you get, you, your meal is comped and you get a t-shirt. I can't tell you that you're always going to be in your best mental space when you're a completely untrained, non-competitive eater who on a wing and a prayer decides to do a very hard eating challenge. This was four, the, the meal it was, it was like four foot long kielbasa sausage doubled up on hot dog buns with 10 hamburgers chopped up with chili cheese sauce and just chili ladled all over it. Um, so it was, it was a, many pounds of food. And uh, we had been there the previous year um, and gone to a place called Tasty Burger, which had an eating competition uh, that was sort of a ch an eating challenge. And it was, hey, if you this meal costs seventy five dollars, if you finish it in forty minutes, uh, you get you, your meal is comped and you get a T-shirt. I failed really painfully um, because I went there and I had the, I was eating the meal um, and I got to the end of the time and literally there was no food left on my plate. I just couldn't close my mouth. I was that close to doing it. And they said, sorry, no, no can do. I, I had the last bites in my mouth and I just couldn't get my jaw shut. Um, the final pin I'll put on that is I went back the year we got invited back to Laugh Riot the year yeah, later. Yeah. They had very prudently eradicated the challenge, I think for legal reasons. They weren't doing it anymore. But I had built up the idea the whole year that I would go back with my new implant tooth and redeem myself. And I uh, went up to the guy and I was like, hey, do you guys still do this challenge? And he was like, obviously, no, you ate your tooth here last year. And I was, he didn't say that, but I, and then I went like, and then I literally looked at him and I was like, shit, I've been building up this all year. Can I recreate the challenge a la carte? Like assembling items from your menu to be what the challenge was. And he was like, I literally can't stop you from doing that. Um, we will not comp your meal and we don't have those t-shirts anymore. And I was like, you're on. And I- Oh, that sounds like a fucking challenge. Got it. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I did even worse the second time oh. and uh, didn't do it uh, and was so sick. Uh, and by the way, uh, we were talking before we went on about me getting engaged. Uh, shout out to Izzy Roland. The first time, years before I met Izzy, 
Her first memory of me was me on my back in the green room of that improv festival with my pants unbuttoned, holding my stomach and moaning. That's how you know, ladies. <laughs> I don't waffle so. those down like right now, like everybody's looking at you. <laughs> you believe in yourself and you give 110 oh fuck <laughs> if anything's possible you're gonna watch a grown man shit on a live stream <laughs> because I love being helpful <laughs> now that I've done a lot of a thing that I didn't want to do yes my stomach for the first time in my life is going oh, oh. We're not going to do anything with this. <laughs> we're not, we're not, dude, I can't believe you didn't listen to the mouth. You're, you're absolutely fucked. We're not, we're not digesting this. This is just here forever now. <laughs> I, I truly feel like I have a bowling ball in my stomach. And it's literally like, like oh. every, every nerve ending in my body oh. is like, go to the hospital. <laughs> Gets up and pulls a little thing out and just starts measuring your body. Says, what size, what size shirt and shoe are you? Large. Large? Okay. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> you sure? Um, yeah. Large if I... I mean, he's putting on, he's put, uh, he's putting on size. So yeah, putting on size. By, so. you know, this is the sweater you're going to grow into. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so if you put it on size, so I should make extra food for you, is what you're saying. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, yeah. Do you have, like... Um, you see that without even asking to, Victoria moves some food off of her plate onto your plate <laughs> as she finishes. I mean, I'm going to get the cake out of there. I Hello? <laughs> Well, you never ate a little rice before. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I know why they frost ice cream. And and I, is it okay? And can I watch the three of you eat? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Oh, Let's start with appetizers. Yes. This